Hello, YouTube. Anyone that's into this hobby knows that this track changes a lot in length with temperature. And of course, there are formulas to calculate how much aluminum will expand and contract uh, given a temperature differential. But I always wanted to just try it and measure it for myself. So it's about in the 60 degrees here inside of the garage, and we've got a 10 foot stick of track. I've got a digital infrared thermometer, thermometer here that sometimes works. And if we come down here, you can see the track is sitting at, it says 65 degrees. I think that's a little bit high. It's probably more like 60. But anyhow, it's a pretty cold Ohio winter day out there. It's uh, getting well below 10 degrees tonight. I think it's supposed to get down below 7. So I'm going to put one of these 10-foot track panels outside, and uh, we'll compare the length to what it measures to inside the garage. All right, inside of the garage, we're measuring 10 feet and 1 eighth of an inch. I marked the rail with a piece of yellow tape so I know which one to measure. My tape measure, I'll keep it warm in my pocket and not outside so it'll stay at a fixed length and won't be dependent on the temperature change. So I'll set this track panel outside, let it cool off, and we'll see what it measures. All right, I cannot believe I'm doing this. It's eight degrees outside. You can probably see my breath. Eight degrees outside, I've got a flannel shirt on, no hat, no gloves. It's well past midnight, so I'm too lazy to tie my shoes, so I slipped on a pair of sandals with socks just to measure this stick of rail and uh, see what it comes out to in the cold. So let me get the tape measure set up on it and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the verdict. It was a little over a 10 and an eighth in the garage, more like 10 and 5.30 seconds outside at eight degrees. We're right at 10 and a 16th. So, it shrunk 3 seconds of an inch between 55 degrees and 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, gosh, I shouldn't do math after midnight. Anywho, what is that difference in temperature? 40, uh, I'll do the math later. Anywho, so it shrunk a good amount. That's why spacing your rail joints uh is so important in fact if you're laying a track when it's warm out you can pretty much butt up the ends of the rail together but uh, if you're laying the track in the fall or in the early spring you definitely got to space them out a little bit more all right i gotta go find somewhere warm this eight degrees is just not fun moon's out nice and bright though you can see the moisture from my breath oh spring can't come fast enough Thanks for tuning in.